What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again today bringing you guys another Madden 25 Ultimate Team card review. And today, guys, the card that we are going to be taking a look at is the best card in this game, at least in terms of attributes. Now, I know other people might have differing opinions. I've had a couple people comment in, in the videos that I make and ask me, you know, what do you think about Walter Payton, the Ultimate Legend card, versus Barry Sanders? Well, when you look at the pure numbers, there's not really a whole lot of comparison. I know that Walter Payton's a very good card, but I don't think he has anywhere near the overpowered attributes of this Barry Sanders card. So you're going to be seeing some highlights from games that I've played recently. And these are what, maybe like the past eight games that I've played or so. So not really that long of a stretch. And these are the kind of highlights that I'm getting on a regular basis with this card. I know that uh, I, I've shown you plenty of highlights of players like Chris Johnson and uh, other running backs that I like to use, but nothing really compares to this card. It has really every single thing that you would look for in a running back, and that's why I love it so much. The thing that this card has that obviously no other card can compare with is the fact that it actually gives your entire team a plus five speed boost. It also gives you a plus five agility boost, which kind of goes undervalued, but uh, that plus five speed boost for your entire offense is insane. There's no other card that even comes close to that. And Barry Sanders, by default, this card has 102 speed. So when you add on that plus five speed, it itself goes up to 107 speed, and then you add on like a Jim Schwartz card or something like that, and then you're at, what, 109 speed for your running back? <laughs> I mean, there's just, there's just no way that any player is anywhere near that fast. But at the same time, when you watch some of these highlights, you're going to see that although he's faster than the other players on the field, the angles in this game are still just incredibly overpowered because even when I get into the open field, sometimes I'm getting taken down from behind. And I know the guys are coming at an angle, but still, to, to me, when you look at a guy that's 107, 109 speed on my team, there shouldn't be people catching him from behind. Even if they've got a decent angle on him, he should just be blowing past them, at least if the speed threshold is at all legitimate. And that's the question. Is the speed threshold in this game legitimate? Because... Like I said, 109 speed, and he's getting caught by guys that are linebackers or even safeties. Guys that are, you know, 94 speed. There's absolutely no excuse for that. So, anyway, though, I want to take a look at some of these other attributes and run down them for you guys for those of you who are unaware. The agility of this card starts off at 102, and then you add that plus 5, so it goes up to 107 to match the speed. It has 104 acceleration as well, which is something that you're going to notice very quickly when you're watching a lot of these plays, like the buck sweeps that I run. He gets out of the backfield so fast, which is something that I love, because even though I had that Chris Johnson card, the combine card that's definitely one of the fastest running backs in the game, it doesn't quite compare to this Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders also has great attributes in things like spin move at 100. It has 103 juke move, 100 carrying, 99 stiff arm, uh, you know, all these types of things. And then the, the big thing that this card has that I think is the most valuable thing about it is that it has 104 elusiveness. So you're going to see it breaking a ton of tackles all by itself. You don't even have to do anything. You just have to be standing there and, and running with your player, and he's going to break tackles. So that's an incredible value. That's something that really can't go overstated. And then he also has 99 trucking, for those of you who do like to truck. So I personally think that this is the most overpowered running back in the game. I don't think there's any real question about it as far as attributes go. Some people might say that one player is better than this or another player is better than this. But to me, it, it just there really isn't any way that you can make a, a logical argument that another player, another running back in this game is better. Now, I will still say that the Donald Penn tight end card, and you're going to see it in basically all of these highlights, is to me the most overpowered card in the game just because you can put it at wide receiver and it's just the most amazing blocker that you'd ever want to see but barry sanders himself is when you combine him with donald penn and you combine him with some of these other cards that i have on my team now man he is just an absolute animal i i personally don't think maybe though that he's worth quite as much as he's going for at one point he was going for over three million coins now he's dropped to more around like eh, somewhere between like 1.5 to 2 million depending on the console that you're on but he, to me i don't think he's worth that 
I mean, obviously, we're coming to the end of Mutt, so, you know, if you got a ton of coins, there's not going to be a better card that comes out. But I still think that there are other running backs that are pretty close to as good. Even cards like the, uh, you know, obviously the ultimate legend Walter Payton is an excellent running back. But to me, I don't really feel a huge difference between him and Chris Johnson. I mean, obviously, like I said, he's got a little bit better acceleration and uh, better speed and things like that. But it's, it's not like he's blowing past the defense and undefendable or anything. Uh, so to me, the Chris Johnson uh, combine card is still very, very good. The only problem with the Chris Johnson card, and it's something that I, I haven't noticed with the Barry Sanders, is that Chris Johnson tends to get tired extremely fast. And Barry Sanders, I can pretty much leave him on the field for an entire drive and run him every single play, and he's pretty much going to be fine. So I do love that. I also love the fact that he doesn't have uh, quite as bad of uh, injury. As Chris Johnson, I, I don't know if the actual numbers add up. I guess I didn't directly compare those. I probably should have before I did this review. But I know that Barry Sanders, for me, hasn't been injured at all. And Chris Johnson, for me, gets injured almost once a game. So I, I don't know if the numbers would uh, would say that or not. But either way, I, I have noticed that. And I'd like to hear some opinions on that. If you guys have noticed that with the Chris Johnson... And it also, if you've noticed that the Barry Sanders doesn't fumble, he doesn't get injured as often, and he doesn't get tired as often. So, with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's review on Barry Sanders. Uh, I hope you enjoyed some of the gameplay footage that we had as well. If you did, make sure you press that like button below, and also, keep tuned to my channel. Because early next week, I'm going to have an opportunity for you guys to win this card. So, stay tuned. Keep your Madden Ultimate teams. Don't sell everything off if you want a chance at Barry Sanders. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.